This video is brought to you by Wondershare. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. This is going to be a video where I'm going to show you guys how to recover lost data because let's be honest, we as YouTubers, as editors have a tons of backups. If it's on your computer, if it's on your hard drive, there are always files that you need to have around in order to edit your videos. If you want to, you know, start from a template or if you want to start from scratch, there's no other bigger nightmare than just having your files accidentally deleted lead it for example that you need for your videos so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to also use recover it data recovery by wondershare i'm going to show you guys why you should use this how to use it and all of that obviously right after the intro Okay guys, so as you can see right now, this is the website where you, that you will land on if you go to the link in the description, the very first one at the top. And right here it says, trusted by 5 million plus data recovery users since 2003, rescue your deleted files, photos, videos, audio files, emails, and many more. Restore everything back to to you from from PC, Mac, hard drive, USB, SD card, etc. Free file scan as well and preview before recovery. Now the cool thing is that both Windows and Mac users can actually use this software. So I'm obviously on Windows, so I'm going to click on download for Windows. And right when this file has finished downloading, I'm gonna install it and boot it up so I can show you guys exactly how it works. Now, before I'm gonna show you guys how to use this, we're gonna go over to a couple settings. So when you have the program open, there are three stripes at the very top. We're gonna click on there. And first of all, you can change the language. So let's say that English is not your primary language. You can also just change that really Real quick using this list obviously there are tons and tons of actual languages that you can choose and obviously you want to just click on ok when you're ready then you can go into your account you can contact them if you have any questions you can see the user guide if you want to the disk tools the log files and you can also check for updates because let's say that you haven't used this program and there's an update it's really important that you always use the most recent version of this program okay so this menu is actually divided in a couple sections so this one is basically what's in your computer computer hard disk drives so this is obviously our c drive push button reset we have the data d which is another drive that i have in my computer we have recovery and we have the local disk now this is everything that is connected to your computer externally so i have my external hard drive right here i have my dvd drive i have this canon which is basically my sd card for my camera and obviously we have this lost partition now what's really cool is let's say that you accidentally emptied your recycled bin and you cannot really get any anything back you can even pick this one and it will still recover the files that you even deleted from that bin or if you did something else and you removed something from your desktop and you don't know where it is you can restore everything onto your desktop or you can just pick a folder yourself now right here at the very bottom it says advanced recovery which says recover from crash computer so let's say that you have a computer or a laptop that crashed and you actually placed hard drive of that laptop of your computer and you install that into your PC you can also recover files from from that drive okay so now that on my desktop as you can see my recycle bin is empty so i'm just going to just place a uh, random instagram story into that bin i'm gonna also empty that bin right now so it's actually gonna be permanently deleted so we're gonna click on okay so now if you open that up there is actually no way to restore this it's empty it's gone forever now that is where recover it comes in so what you want to do is go to that menu find your recycle bin and you want to click on start right here this is a little icon meaning that it is scanning and when it found its files that were deleted from your bin it will actually show up right here and you can even like select separately which one you would like to recover so I'm gonna just give this a couple minutes for, for it to scan and to find that files and once it popped up we can just go ahead and click on recover and now you can just get back all the files that you accidentally deleted
Okay, so recently I deleted a lot of like thumbnails from previous videos that I don't need anymore. So there are actually over 21,000 files found. So let's go ahead and click on recycle bin. Let's just select that. So I have an entire list because there are basically over 30,000 files found. And as you can see, the last one is from 2016, a Vegas Pro 17 project when I hit like 80,000 subscribers. So there is basically a lot found because it's over the past couple of years. So right now, let's just go ahead and click on recover. So then what you need to do is you need to select a location where you want to recover that file. And then you want to click on recover, obviously. So I selected a couple besides that Vegas Pro project. And right now it says 36 files recover successfully. And now they are back onto your computer, guys. This is how amazing it is. That is how to use recover it. It's basically a really, really cool software. It's going to help you manage your files, get back any deleted ones that weren't supposed to be deleted, anything like that. So guys, if you want to go ahead and check out this program check out the first link in the description thank you so much for wondershare for sponsoring this video and like i've mentioned all the info is in the description down below for you in order to download your files get this program set up and running and that is it so guys thanks a lot for watching i'll see you guys in my next video obviously tomorrow so i'll catch you guys in my next one